welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Mike Tyson, so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Lions had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. 36 minutes still ahead of him here. Round one of 12. Blocks that belt line well. Fans have certain expectations when they come to a Mike Tyson fight. They don't mind if it ends in 20 seconds. Do you expect it to be a quick one tonight? Tyson expects it to. And that's more important than what I expect. He's going to go out there and he's going to put his best foot forward to make that happen. Throughout your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love to have those kind of advantages physically. You just have to make sure that you teach them to fight tall. Lions almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Halfway through round number one. Work the body. Mike Tyson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they... What a big shot. And a big punch connects and floors him here in round one. And not what you expected. His opponent usually not a quick starter. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch. Put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, a big shot. A big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Ten seconds remaining in this round. The Lions able to land a nice, clean left hand. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind them how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Breathe. Good job. Hey, caught you with your hands down. Come on, now. Keep them hands up. Keep them up. The Lions got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. The Lions left now getting into the mix. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. What a 
bulldozer by the Lion. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Halfway through round number two. Watch that! Nice work with the overhand right. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> Through the years, especially in the heavyweight division, there have been some guys that can throw a good right uppercut. But when Tyson fully dips and get, gets all that body behind it, it's as good a right uppercut as we've ever that? seen. Yeah, it's coming from Brooklyn. You know, it's coming from a place that really you wish that you didn't have to visit because you get hit with that punch. He's putting everything into it, but he sets it up nice. He hits you behind the back a little bit in the rib area, and then all of a sudden, when your arm moves a little bit, it's coming up the middle. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Good defense just covering up down low. Good double jab by Mike Tyson. The Lions able to land a good, solid left hand. Way to block there. The Lions' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. The Lions scoring with that right hand. Right to the belt line. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Beat him to the punch. The Lions impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Tyson with a powerful left hand. And bang, and away he goes. How is this gonna go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. Look at this. The lion smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count.
Mike Tyson's able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.